Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Anything more for me to do around the house? I fixed the toaster, the door buzzer, the carpet sweeper, and the bathroom Not ball. a thing, David. Are you sure that's all, Claudia? Absolutely. Say, what's got into you tonight, David? Oh, nothing. I just feel like fixing things. Well, I think that feeling like fixing things is an awful lot like fiddling while Rome burns. I'm not <laughs> sure I like it, David. You know, you're cute when you get serious. You're whistling off key, David. I suppose you think you can whistle better than that. I certainly can. You don't know how to whistle, Claudia. Never could. I've been practicing, Mama. All right, Smarty, let's see you. You mean hear me. Don't quibble, just whistle. All right, but you can't look at me. Please don't look at me while I'm whistling, David. It it makes me laugh. She's very temperamental, David. Mm, I'm an artist, Mother. I'll turn my back. Go ahead now. How can you turn your back when you're sitting down? All right, I'll turn my head then. Now All stop right. stalling. Go ahead. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> David, that's not fair. You're looking at me in the mirror. <laughs> you look like a fish. Thank you. <laughs> You're not a very accomplished whistler if you can't do it when anyone's looking at you. I'm as good as David is. Who says? I says. Besides, you look like a fish, too. Insults won't help, darling. Everyone knows that whistling isn't a woman's work. I am not like other women. I told you I can, only not when you're looking at me. <laughs> hey, I know what I'll do. What now? I'll go into the next room. You'll be able to hear me from there. I've got a better idea. Why don't you both go into the next room and let David's poor old mother-in-law go to sleep now? On the hard couch that's her bed. I thought you always liked that hard old couch better than your nice soft bed. Don't you know that mother-in-laws are always looking for sympathy, Claudia? Fine chance I have of getting sympathy from you, too. Besides, come Friday when we move, you'll have your bed back and you'll be sorry. I repeat, I am tired. I don't care what you do, but please take your nonsensical chatter out of the living room. Good night. I think she means it, David. Could be. Wait till I gather up my stuff. Here's my pipe. Don't forget the matches like last night. You nearly scared Mama to death. I don't scare to death that easily. The evening papers? You've read them at least eight times. I haven't finished, do you mind? Oh, what's so interesting in them anyway? Mm, read them sometimes, see. Haven't got time. But, uh, David, when you get to the ladies' page, tear out the recipe, will you? Mm, tear it out. I don't care who tears it out, but please get yourselves going. I think she still means it, David. We're going, Mother. Sleep tight, sleep tight. David, I've got an idea. Tell him in the bedroom. No, no, I'll tell you here. Make it quick, Claudia. I'd like to go for a walk. You would, eh? Mm-hmm, I would. A nice long walk. It's a lovely night out. You know, that's not a bad idea. I think I'd like to take a walk, Wonderful. Too. I'm all ready. When you come back, try, if it's at all possible, not to awaken me. She's ferocious when she's awakened at night. I snap. Like a dog. More <laughs> like a black bear. <laughs> now clear out of here, both of you. <laughs> i got to put on a tie. I'll be right with you. But he doesn't really whistle badly at all, does he, Mama? Better than you. I think so, too. David seems to be in fine spirits tonight, doesn't well, he? He certainly kept busy fixing things and whistling. I never saw him fix or whistle so much before. It's funny. I never thought David would be the kind of man who likes to fix things. They all do, at times. Who does what at which times? I was afraid of that. Of what? You're contagious, Claudia. What do you mean? Now David comes into a room asking questions. 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 Your mother is in a terrible mood, darling. Come on. Let's leave her with herself. And Hand me my jacket, David. Here you are. Don't get lost. We won't. But if you do, remember your name is sewn into the seam of your dress right next to the zipper. Go to a police station and tell them who you are. They'll bring you back. All right, silly. Don't wait up for us. Don't worry. I'm asleep already. Night. She 
does look a little tired, don't you think, David? Well, she'll get more rest in a couple of days. When we move out... She'll be lonesome, too. Mother doesn't mind. Besides, we won't let her get lonesome. I wouldn't want to live alone. Would you, David? You're not your mother, darling. At her age, living alone is not so bad, I guess. Besides, she's an independent soul. She'll enjoy it. You wait and see. She wouldn't tell us if she didn't. No, but we could tell. You think so? I know so. Come on now. Where will we walk? Oh, out. Now, into the elevator with you. What floor, my lady? Now, uh, what kind of floors have you got? Let's see. High floors, low floors, medium floors, wax floors, dance floors. Like to go dancing? Right now, I think we'll take the main floor. Down, down, down we go. Somehow I never trust these kinds of elevators that go by themselves. I always think they're going to get stuck. They never do. Really, never? Very rarely. Well, I still don't trust them. I just don't see how they can run by themselves. Mm, That's the way they're made. They stop, they start, the doors open, one thing after another. Just like so. That's just what I mean. I press one button, stops on the first floor. Well, where did you want it to stop? On the first floor, of course. Oh. But why should it? Uh, because. See, even you don't know. Of course I know. Then why? There's a little man who sits on top of the car. And when you press the button that says one, that's where he takes you. I don't believe it. There is no little man. (laughs) You're right, my dear. Then how does it know? Because you press the button. That's all you'll understand, so forget it. It may be all I'll understand, but I won't forget it. Dear, now, be careful of that revolving door. Come in the same compartment with me. You scared to go by yourself? Terrified. Hmm. Nice night. Isn't it? A little damp, but nice. Smart of you to suggest a walk, Claudia. Oh, I'm a very smart girl, didn't you know? I keep forgetting. Oh, it feels good to get out and walk. David, now that we're away from the house, tell me what's wrong. What's wrong? What do you mean? I I know something's wrong. Was there anything I did? Uh, you're a dope. What could you do wrong? Lots of things. Well, you didn't do any of those lots of things tonight, dear. And what is it, David? Look at the ring around the moon, Claudia. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Is that what it means? I think so. What makes the ring, David? Mm, Dampness and the atmosphere, I guess. I like it. Almost as much as a clear moon. Sort of mysterious. Like the elevator that runs by itself? (laughs) It's not that (laughs) mysterious. (laughs) You know, I'd rather be an architect than anything else in the world, I think. I sometimes wondered if I were a man what I'd like to have been. Being an architect would have been nice, I think. Building things out of nothing. Houses for people. Schools. David, Hmm? do you always want to be an architect? No, or a farmer, but rather an architect. We're lucky you're doing what you like to do. You bet we are. I like the office. I like working with Roger. But still, sometimes I feel as though I'm not quite going in the right direction. Like tonight? Like tonight. Have you felt like this before, David? I guess so. But I can't quite put my finger on it. That's only because you don't have to. I... I don't even know exactly what it is I want to build. It's a feeling inside me. It's mostly that I... Well, I feel as though I... I want to do something big. Leave something... Something beautiful in the world. (laughs) I'm sorry, darling. I don't suppose I'm making much sense. It's enough sense for me, David. Oh, now look at the ring around the moon. It's sort of pinkish. Mm -hmm. Right behind the tallest spire of that cathedral across the street. It's almost pierced by it. It's kind of like a sign, isn't it? Almost. I wonder how we happen to walk here. I wonder. Do you believe in signs, Claudia? Oh, depends. On whether you like a particular sign or not, is that it? I like this one. (laughs) David, do you believe in signs? Mm, No. Not usually. Come on. Let's go in. It's 
peaceful in here, isn't it, David? Mm-hmm. Peaceful, quiet. It's almost like getting married. Claudia, uh, do you see the way the stone sweeps up? It's a good, clean line, isn't it? The man who built this said, I'm building a house, a meeting place, a place where people can come and meet their God. It, it's big, but not frightening. They know he's here whenever they come. Look around you, Claudia. It's in all these stones. You know, I think I understand something a little better now. Yes, David. I'm... I'm moving in the right direction. I'll build a great church someday, but not yet. I look around, and I can see. But I'm not ready, Claudia. Technically, I could, I could build a place like this. I know how a flying buttress should be constructed. I, I know how the walls must be balanced for the high ceiling. The building would stand. It would be good, as buildings go. But that isn't enough. No. No, it's not half enough. Maybe in a few years, David. Maybe. And we've both suffered a little. We're too happy now, and life isn't all happiness. Well, can it be? No, it's, it's happiness, tears, joy and sorrow, respect, love, humility. All of those things. When I know more of them, I'll be ready. David, isn't there a way of building a cathedral without the tears? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Claudia. David, let's leave. I, I feel almost as if someone's trying to take you away from me. Are we too happy? If happiness is loving someone and being loved, we are very happy. I hope it'll stay that way, David. Always happy. Always in love. Forever and ever. The story material used on this broadcast was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney, creators of Claudia. There's enough Coca-Cola so you can stock up. Now your family and friends can enjoy the pause that refreshes much more often. Coke is delicious, refreshing, easy on the budget and welcome in any gathering. Now you can say, have a Coke again, when folks drop in to call. And once again, you can count on Coke to make any occasion a party. You can ask your grocer for Coca-Cola when you're doing your marketing, and you'll get it. Don't forget to bring home a supply for your refrigerator when you shop. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause... The pause that refreshes. Mm -hmm.